everybody, this is Old Man Tony here again. I hope you're all well out there. Lovely day today. And today I'm going to do something different. This is a video I've been intending to do for quite a long time. It's been in the planning, gathering information. And this is an idea inspired by Hippodrones, I think, on the site, the Facebook page, Challenge Accepted Motor Vlog. And I think it was Hippodrones that suggested this. And it's do a video about your local hero. And I think it said past or present. Well I'm doing one that's really in the past. What I want to do is take you back to the reign of Edward VI who was the son of Henry VIII and he came to the throne while he was age nine back in the 1540s. So it's quite a long time ago. So this was a time of unrest in the United Kingdom. The long reigning King Henry VIII, well long reigning by his standards, his time, had died and left a son of only nine years old to go onto the throne. So the reigning was being done by other people on his behalf. There's been a lot of changes. Henry had abolished the Catholic Church in the United Kingdom and the landowners were getting restless. They all wanted to make more money, so they introduced the Enclosures Act. Now, up till then, the common people did their own bit of farming on a very small scale, really to support themselves and their families, and maybe make a little bit of cash to pay their taxes. And at this time, there was quite a lot of common land. Land that the common man had the right to use. And they grew a bit of food, kept a few animals on this common land. Now this time, the big landowners were getting greedy. Some, some of you will say times haven't changed really. But they were getting greedy and they wanted some of this common land. It was their land, so they said. And this Enclosure Act enabled them to put up fences and hedges around their common land to stop the common people coming onto it because they wanted to graze lots of sheep. Wool was the thing that was making lots of money. Britain was making tremendous amount of money, or the rich people were, exporting wool products to the rest of the world. So the more area of land they could have, the better. So this was causing a lot of the common people, a lot of issues, big issues, like starvation and poverty. So they were getting a bit upset about it all. I think people were dying because of it. But the wealthy landowners, the titled people, were getting ri richer. And some say it was a way to take money off the poor people and make them even poor, poorer and make the rich people even richer. So this is the background of what I'm making my video about. A local hero, Robert Kett, who led the Kett's Rebellion in Norfolk against the establishment. So who was Robert Kett, I hear you ask? Well, he was a landowner in the area, and I think he was enclosing land just the same as every other landowner in the area, trying to make money for himself and his family. But the difference is, he appears to have had a conscience. So Robert Kett was a good God-fearing man, as most people were of the time. And this is Wyndham Abbey. And although the um, abbeys had been dissolved, this remained here 
being used as a parish church by the locals. So the whole thing kicked off in 1549 after a, um, a bit of a religious festival which was apparently illegal in Wyndham which is a town about 10 miles from Norwich in Norfolk in the UK. One of the issues was that um, because of the dissolution of the monasteries people were starting to tear down abbeys and churches but um, in Wyndham the abbey was also the parish church and these people, these locals, didn't like it. Uh, one of the main guys who was leading the dissolution of the monasteries around here and getting the um, parish church pulled down was Sir John Flowerdew from Heatherset. So all these guys set off from Wyndham to Heatherset, which was just a few miles up the road, and started pulling down his fences and hedges and everything. But Sir John Flowerdew, he was a bit clever, so he um, bribed all these people and gave them a bit of money and said, um, you don't want to be messing with me, I'll look after you. You want to go after that Robert Kett, another landowner. So they all set off to his land to take over and pull down his hedges and fences. But to the surprise of all the um, peasants, the revolting peasants, Robert Kett sided with them and decided to help them and get them organised. So Kett wasn't a young man, he was 57. I think he'd got grown up children, but he sympathised with the unhappy peasants and he actually joined in and started pulling down the fences and hedges in his own land and actually got them organised. So what Robert Kett did was um, gather all the people who were against this new Enclosure Act from all the surrounding villages and arranged a big meeting, a meeting to decide what to do next. And this meeting was to be arranged on the main road into Norwich. Not that it would have had been much of a road and more of a track at the time, but the main road into Norwich between Wyndham and Heatherset. So this meeting was to be arranged under this oak tree which is purported to be from that time but all I can say is it probably hasn't grown very much in all that time. So by now Kett's band had grown into the thousands and it was decided that they'd march on to Norwich and bring their case up towards the representatives of the Crown. So first of all they um, moved on towards Norwich and set up camp for the night at a village called Bowthorpe which is now a suburb of Norwich and there they were approached by the uh, Sheriff of Norfolk I think his name was Sir John Wyndham who asked them to disperse and his answer was no. So because there were so many people Sheriff hadn't got enough men to do anything about it. He went off back to the city. The next person that came to see him was the uh, Mayor of Norwich, who also asked them to disperse. But again, the answer was no. And they moved on. They were refused to um, march through the city to get to their destination, Mousehold Heath. And at that time, the city had was surrounded with walls and a river and not easy to breach the defences. So they decided to take another route and made a river crossing place. Again, a suburb of Norwich called Helsden. And after spending the night in Drayton, they moved on to Mousehold Heath, where they set up camp and were joined by many, many others. So now Robert Kett was camped in a strategic place overlooking the city of Norwich. What's going to happen next? Well, I'll tell you what will happen next in the next episode, which will hopefully be 
soon. So, if you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching. If you want to make a comment, please do that down below. I love comments and it lets me know that people are actually watching. So let me know what you think about it. The next episode will come along soon. So again, thank you for watching. This has been Old Man Tony. Goodbye.